Have you ever looked around at the staggering diversity of life on Earth and wondered, how did all of this come to be? From microscopic bacteria to towering redwood trees, from deep-sea creatures with glowing bodies to the majestic flight of eagles, the variety of life is nothing short of breathtaking. But behind this grand spectacle lies a story of two quiet, invisible forces that have been shaping life for billions of years. Forces that don't work in days or weeks, but across centuries, millennia, and eons. Today on SCI Discovery Chronicles, we're diving into the twin engines of evolution, mutation, and natural selection. This journey will take you from the smallest molecules inside your cells to the complex ecosystems of entire planets. Buckle up, it's time to uncover the code that writes the future of life. Let's start at the very beginning. At the heart of every living thing is DNA, a long, twisted molecule that stores the instructions for building and running life. It's like the ultimate instruction manual. But here's the twist, this manual is constantly being copied, rewritten, and occasionally misprinted. These misprints are called mutations. A mutation is simply a change in the sequence of DNA. It might be as tiny as swapping one letter in a long genetic sentence or as large as duplicating or deleting entire sections. And although it sounds like an error, this process is actually nature's most powerful tool for creativity. Most mutations are harmless or neutral, some are harmful, but every so often, a mutation gives an organism an advantage. An advantage that could mean the difference between survival and extinction. Now imagine a harsh desert where only plants with deep roots can reach the water hidden far beneath the sand. A random mutation allows one particular plant to grow even deeper roots. This small genetic change gives that plant a greater chance to survive, especially during droughts. Over time, its offspring inherit the same ability and the population slowly shifts toward this beneficial trait. This is where natural selection steps onto the stage. Coined by Charles Darwin, natural selection is the process by which beneficial traits become more common in a population over generations simply because organisms with those traits are more likely to survive and reproduce. It's the ultimate survival strategy. Nature rewards traits that help life thrive in a given environment and quietly weeds out those that don't. But natural selection is not about perfection. It's about adaptation. Picture the peppered moth in England during the Industrial Revolution. Before factories darkened the skies with soot, most moths were pale-colored, blending perfectly with the light bark of trees. But once pollution blackened the trunks, the pale moths became easy prey for birds, while a few dark-colored moths, born from a random mutation, suddenly had an advantage. Generation after generation, the population shifted toward dark-colored moths. That's evolution in action. Mutation created the variation. Natural selection chose which version would thrive. And this same mechanism isn't limited to moths or plants. It shapes the eyes of eagles, the camouflage of tigers, the shells of turtles, and even the human brain. Think about your own body. Every trait you have, from the color of your eyes to the way your immune system fights infections, is the result of countless generations of mutations filtered by the relentless logic of natural selection. But there's another fascinating layer to this process. Adaptation isn't always about strength or intelligence. Sometimes, survival depends on cooperation, beauty, or even deception. Take the orchid mantis, an insect so perfectly disguised as a flower that even experienced predators can't spot it. This remarkable camouflage is the result of countless tiny mutations over thousands of generations, each one making the mantis slightly better at mimicking a flower, until it reached a point where it could fool nearly any eye. Now let's talk about why mutation and natural selection are the engines of biodiversity. Life on Earth isn't static. Ecosystems are constantly changing, climates shift, predators evolve, food sources vanish, and new challenges emerge. Mutation generates the raw material for new traits, while natural selection tests these traits in the grand laboratory of life. The more diverse the mutations, the better the odds that some individuals will survive, adapt, and pass on their genes. 
Over time, this process leads to the spectacular range of species we see on Earth, from deep ocean bioluminescent fish to desert cacti, from snow leopards to hummingbirds. Now here's the mind-bending part. All living creatures on Earth are distant cousins. From the tiniest bacterium to the tallest giraffe, every organism shares an ancient genetic ancestor. Mutation and natural selection playing out over billions of years have branched life out like an enormous family tree spreading across every environment imaginable. Evolution isn't just the story of the past, it's still happening right now, all around you. Every virus that mutates, every new bacteria strain that adapts to antibiotics, every species that migrates or changes its behavior in response to climate change, these are all real-time examples of evolution unfolding before our eyes. In the future, it's wide open. As humans develop new technologies, change the climate, and reshape ecosystems, we're introducing new pressures on life. New mutations will arise. New species will adapt or vanish. Natural selection will continue, just as it has for billions of years. Let's recap. Mutations are random changes in DNA. They are neither good nor bad, just different. But when a mutation happens to offer an advantage, natural selection steps in, allowing that advantageous trait to spread through a population. Over time, this dynamic duo sculpts life into astonishing forms and behaviors. Without mutations, life would stagnate. Without natural selection, it would descend into chaos. Together, these forces are the engines behind the breathtaking biodiversity that fills our planet, from the smallest microbe to the grandest mammals. So, the next time you marvel at the dazzling colors of a butterfly's wings, the powerful stride of a cheetah, or the adaptable brilliance of the human mind, remember, you're witnessing the outcome of an ancient, ongoing dance between mutation and natural selection. Thank you for joining us on this evolutionary journey. If you found today's episode enlightening, don't forget to subscribe to SCI Discovery Chronicles. Hit that like button, share this video with fellow curious minds, and leave a comment telling us which example of natural selection blew your mind the most. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired, and always keep exploring.